Hey, ladies and gentlemen, we are here on the second part of this game. This is Shane Paskey. As you can see, we just started third period. Sorry, Shane, we don't have full 30 minutes, but we got a full period of you bringing it. Let's go. Today is April 6th. That means Paskey's flying out today for U.S. National out in Rochester, I believe. I know I got guys going to Rochester and guys going to Pennsylvania. That'd be New York for you folks. Tier, uh, under 18 is Tier 2 for Shane, I believe. Outstanding opportunity. So we've got uh, Burnsville in the black, Grand Rapids in the orange. And uh, I did switch video vantage points from where I was originally viewing or filming with Darren Glur just because I left my spot to go to the boys room and I got a funny story about the boys room for everybody <laughs> bam look at that nice both of you good job watching the hot spots uh, when I came back my spot was taken Actually, to get into this game, they, uh, they didn't have enough people taking tickets, and there's a line out the door. So, in some sense, you guys have arrived, because you have been to a game where you walk up into the arena, head in, and there's a line out the door. I always think that uh, means a little extra something something. Okay, good anticipation. Not necessarily cheating. You do it every time. I can call you a cheater, cheater, pumpkin eater. Talk a little bit about the mindset that I would have as this game starts to wear on and wear on. Each line call becomes bigger. Each line call becomes more critical. Each line call, I've got to bring it more. I've got to be sharper. As the game wears down, time runs down, my heightened mental state and awareness goes up. Because in a 2-1 hockey game, as we wear down in this third period here, everything is more critical. Those who say you call the first like you call the third, like you call the second, like you call the overtime, 
there is some truth to that but there's definitely some truth to the fact that you need to ramp yourself up mentally so you're sharp so you're clear so you're very much on top of the game I'm not talking about getting ramped up into a frenzy where you're flustered and you can't react but you're into a game where you are predicting it and being one step ahead at each point so as I'm about to drop this face off I'd be like this is a huge face off big offensive zone defensive zone face off let's get it down flat let's get it down fair good procedure Get in there, get in there, get in there. Outstanding presence there. Even by the referee, Rick Nelson. Rick is on his way to a national tournament today. Cameron Boss is on his way to a national tournament today. Jimmy Klobuchar, Kenny Anderson are on their way. Okay, that's first step speed, getting off the line, being sharp, pushing yourself. And the referee says that's a goal, folks. I'm going to rewind something here. And this will be the lesson. Okay. So we got face off. Puck goes down. Puck comes to the net. Alright. Now. Shane's backing out hard like he should. And we're going to have what Burnsville is going to protest to be a controversial goal. Let's see. I can see the puck laying right there. Hey, if I back that up, I don't know if you guys care or not. But you can see the puck laying right behind the goaltender. Can you see it in there? It's like right on the goal line. I can see a distinctive black color that's right behind the goaltender. And he thinks he's got a cover, but he doesn't. And the guy who's in the best position is Rick. The guy who's in an even better position is these two guys behind the net right there. So, because they know that it gets popped in right away. Now, as these guys come to protest at him and give it to him, linesmen, one, two, you guys should get in between these players and the referee. Know that he's going to catch heck, he's going to catch static, so you get in between them to protect the referee, avoid any more potential things. You're just a buffer there. That you're just like a human shield. You don't say nothing, you don't do nothing. You may just say, hey, come on, let's go, to that extent. But that's what you do in situations like that. Okay, see you on part two.